So you may have already seen the tutorial about how I made these uh, steam engine drive wheels. And next I need to make the wheels for the leading and trailing trucks. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, this is a three quarter inch hole saw and all I have that in there for is just to line up um, the edges of the wood with the hole saw. So we're good there. I'm going to take the hole saw out and I am putting in a half inch Forstner bit. And uh, this cut here is a little more critical. I'm lining up uh, the bottom edge of the bit with the uh, chuck. And I have a, a certain depth already set. So we're going to make our first hole here. It's going to go about halfway through. Okay, we've reached our depth. And next up, we're going to put a quarter inch hole right through the center. Next up uh, is a half inch hole saw. This one's kind of critical too. There's a certain, um, I bottom it out to the top and then uh, I tighten it up because this has a certain depth it's got to go to also, um, which I'm setting right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, we've hit the bottom of the hole right there. And lastly, we are back to the three-quarter inch hole saw. And this will be our final cut. Just using a flat blade screwdriver and pushing it out. And uh, that's what it looks like so far. And now we're going to take it over to the belt sander and finish it up. Okay, we're at the belt sander. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is lightly clean up the back side. And then uh, we're going to use the old screwdriver trick again and uh, clean up that uh, outer ring there. So here we go.
see we've, re we've removed that uh, outer ring there and now when I put this on the cordless drill we'll be able to get rid of that little edge that's left and once again I'm using uh, 100 grit sandpaper and I'm just trying to remove a little bit of an edge that I have left there just about got it that's not too bad I'm gonna switch over to the 220 paper And this is our finished product. And again, this is the uh, leading and trailing truck wheels. And here is what it looks like next to the drive wheel. So not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the overall uh, design and size and everything. Uh, it took me a couple tries to uh, figure out exactly what I needed to do to make this work. This is this piece was just way too small to try to do it um, on the table saw there kind of like how I cut the groove into the drive wheel here so I just got lucky that a half inch and a three quarter inch hole saw um, gives you this type of result here so um, moving along